everybody. Let's do this other presentation for the world. Uh, but I didn't knew that in this Illuminati cards that I always say to myself that I have to watch them all, I have to watch, but I never did, you know. Apparently there is another one that says energy crisis. And it makes sense, guys. Uh, because they work like, you know, giving a shock to the sheeple. And I will make now an example with, uh, with the same thing that happened in Albania since I lived in this situation. People were unable to get food, you know. So they give a, a shock to the sheeple guys so that they will accept more of their solution, you know, more state, more control, you know. So they did this one here. And they got, you know, they got this, you know, you know for the sheep and everything. Uh, that's fine. But, but now we want something more drastic. Because one question is, you know, this. But one question is, you, you, you can't even find food. It's, an, it's totally another thing, guys. I mean, here in Italy, from uh, today, you cannot get work if you don't have the magic juice, you know? Uh, but with this situation here, whatever is your state, whatever you are, your con even if you have money, you cannot get food in this kind of situation. Because I know this because this is what we went through in Albania. These are people, Albanians in the 90s, guys, where communism fell, you know? And people were happy that they just got bread after, you know, long hours of standing in line at the door here because there was very few bread, you know. And I also went and did this lines, even though I was little, with no luck, of course, because stronger people got the bread before of me. Of course, I, I went like this, you know. Lady, please give me one to me, lady. I'm hungry, please. The revolution in Central Eastern Europe. Yeah? So in the 92, guys, 90% of collective farms, food reserves were dangerously low. And there were shortages of basic items such as bread. Endless lines formed outside empty shops in the hope that the food relief would become available. Mob looting of government warehouses became commonplace. And so what happens, guys? The Albanians got the guns and started to, to make the situation even, even worse. The guns, of course, since we are not uh, Americans, are not ours, we're of the state. And so uh, with that anarchy, total anarchy, situation become even worse so that the acceptance of the solution which was democracy they were giving us democracy huh, would be acceptable so in my facebook just uh, yesterday this is 14 october someone wrote this which basically says that we are getting close to not having bread anymore we are running out of uh, wheat uh, that we are using the reserves what we have in stocks uh, because we are the sheep and they are the mind and they can make us do whatever they want you know here are other articles that says the very pitiful situation of ours in the 90s 91 here it's october 91 I, I was still in albania well yes in the 90s i came just as a tourist here in italy but just for a short time but uh, when I came back, the situation got worse in Albania, and then I came here in the '94. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, sacks of flour were, uh, I said wheat, wheat flour, were piled against the front wall of an otherwise bare village shop. But villagers said they had no firewood for baking, or even to heat their homes. I'm telling you. Total disaster, guys. Crazy thing happens in those times. 
since the sheep will rely on what the system gives to them. Otherwise, you know, even if they have the land there and the capabilities to grow something, they will not do it, guys. They want Miami to give them food. Transportation breakdowns and other problems continue to force farmers away from crops requiring processing, leaving wheat, sugar, and vegetables always in short supply for the sheep. Uh, sheepy, sheepy. Uh, this Albanian suggested only food aid from Italy was keeping Albanians fed. So far, Albania had received six, six, six tons of sugar, I'm telling you. Who writes these things, guys? It's, it's them themselves, you know. I mean, lucky me that I was there, guys, that I can tell you really what went on, guys. Because you cannot even trust history at this point, what you read in articles, you know. But, but again, I, from all the shit that I was online, I saved this because it was very close to what we were going through, you know. And so they are saying here that Ita Italy helped us. And it was true, guys. Italy prepared this uh, Operation Pelican, guys. Yes, Pelican is a very occult meaning, you know. We will see that now. Uh, to help the poor Albanians that were, where they were starving. But since, you know, the pelican in the occult has this meaning here. The pelican sacrifices him herself to feed the babies. And this is a symbol of resurrection. As, as manly whole, manly pea hole explained, the pelican feeding its young from a self-inflicted wound in its own breast is accepted as an appropriate symbol of both sacrifice and resurrection. So basically, Italy was sacrificing itself for uh, this new world order, you know, saving Albanians. Because both countries were, were being fucked, you know, were being destroyed. But Italians yet were saving, were doing this because the plan was to move all these Albanians out of there and mix them with other cultures here in Italy so that there's no culture here anymore. And what happened, yes, is that first of all the word pelican is 33, maybe? I'm telling you! It's very, has very occult meanings. And here is the poor Albanians, you know, we were uh, almost dying of, I mean, not dying because we could survive, but it was very hard, guys. And when we saw these aliens, you know, Italians coming here to save us, they would look like, like God, you know, giving us food. Give us food. And, and so it started, the Albanians started to eat junk food because we were not uh, eating what, because Albanians, guys, we, we didn't have junk food before guys i'll show you now and here are italians guys ah brainless order followers without knowing what they're doing sacrificing themselves and us you know ah the sheep gotta be dependent on the state guys otherwise if the sheep knows how to grow its own food and everything ah you're gonna do that and here is uh, all the Italians going to village to village to save Albanians. The Albanian flag is kind of a sign, you know, as, as you can see. This is yes. there is no words, guys. But again, so but uh, I wanted to uh, quickly go through some images that I just found of Albania, guys, in the nineties, because for me the, this kind of stuff is very precious. And I just found a guy that went with this Operation Pelican 33, uh, Italian, which was better better off than an Albanian, had a, a camera, things that we Albanians didn't have, you know, kind of pictures in color like this were something rare for us. Even before this uh, stressful situation that we were going through in the 90s, you know, we were poor, you know. And to see pictures like this of my own town, this is exactly where I lived, guys, but um, bear in mind that uh, the situation is really fucked here, guys. Because there's fire here, destroyed statues and everything, because people were... The system was falling apart because they were giving this stress to us so that we will be able to accept 
the solution after the stress, you know, which would be, of course, the New World Order. Uh, this is beautiful, guys, because uh, when you are little and uh, but when you have lived in uh, in these places, guys, f for all your childhood, and to see these pictures, guys, is, is just emotionally very strong, guys, to see something like this. It's just like being being there, guys. These pictures are, are beautiful. The guy who took them was an Italian, as I said, very good photographer. And so I would see scenes like this, for example, that I used to do, you know, we were playing like this in the streets, we're just inventing, you know, this wheel, you know, came out of some factory that worked with uh, aluminum or whatever this thing is, you know, this this plate here, you know, made like, like this, we would arrange like a few of those wrapped with some um, iron um, thing, you know, I cannot find the word. And uh, we would just play like this with this um, stuff here, we're just pushing it. Just beautiful guy, just inventing, no application, no games, no video games, guys. Just like this, we would invent games. And in fact, I remember uh, there was, uh, but things got uh, fucked up in the meantime. I, I wanted to make like a book, guys, of all the games that we used to invent, guys. There were so many, guys. You have no idea. So many and so beautiful. And all games, like physical games, you know, not virtual shit, guys. Just in the street, there were all kinds of games, guys. Beautiful. And I was f starting to collect all this information of, uh, of how each game, the rules it had. It was beautiful, guys. But at some point life got even worse and we got other priorities, you know, and so everything was forgot, well, it was um, left there in the archives. So you, uh, the situation was, was like this, guys, at some point people were just taking some sheep there in the cities and finding some park where there, ha there was some, some grass and maybe having some meat in the in the in the winter, I don't know where you will kill this thing. Yeah. And and these were scenes that I would see myself. And I remember, you know, there was one of these, you know, small sheep, you know, that this guy had, and we we became friends with this guy. I, I remember it was a guy just like this, and I remember that this sheep, once he got a, a bit older, a bit uh, bigger. And with kind of horns, you know, it was starting to get the horn, you know. He started to hit you guys with a head like this, and I remember that was crazy. <laughs> Beautiful. And so here are sheeple guys uh, believing the lies, guys. They were selling us this new news newspaper that uh, in, uh, when, uh, since then, in communism, we had only one newspaper. It was just that. But this one w was sold to us like uh, something new. because And it, it would say... Uh, the rebirth of democracy, or something like this, you know, Relindia Democrazia, Democratica. Uh, so even the name, you know, the rebirth, the the Rinascita, uh, um, Relindia. How do I can I say another way in English? Yeah, so, uh, the rebirth of democracy, Relindia. So that's how exactly you can translate that. Democracy, of course, is New World Order, guys. It's, uh, a hidden way to say communism in uh, communism with uh, with unicorns and other beautiful things around you, whores and uh, and fake people and, uh, and and things like this, and slaves, happy slaves, and uh, these are all scenes that I saved. Uh, because I remind, they reminded me of this kind of one of many kind of games that we had, where this you know, jumping with one feet, you know, from one square to another, you know, beautiful, beautiful. And this one is beautiful, guys, because it's a pure propaganda. But uh, since then, we only had communist propaganda, you know. But now, here is uh, creeping. Creeping in some uh, New World Order propaganda, guys, which is democracy. Here is it says, the fate of Albania is in your votes. So vote right. Here, 
We reptilians give you what to vote, and everything will go fine. The dumb sheep believes it. And also, you have the Europe logo here, so, New World Order. Vote for Parti Democratic, Partia Democratic, Democrats, Demo, Democratic Party. Uh, which is a window to Europe. Ah, beautiful. A window to the New World Order. Nice. Here is the misery in the shops, guys. Very few items, as you, as you can see. Uh, very hard to get food, as I was saying. And here people are buying um, burro. How do you say burro in... Uh, a burro in English. <laughs> You can guess it, guys. It's, it's something that comes out of the cow, guys. With milk, you make this kind of thing. It's it's not cheese, but it's that other thing that you can spread on your on your bread. Okay, okay, you got it. Okay, don't make fun of me. Okay. And this was very a uh, particular thing that we had in Albania since we were. Uh, energetically we, we we used to to burn fuel guys to cook basically guys when it was not uh, winter that had the stove you know we would use uh, this kind of oil that comes from from the fossil fuels you know in quotes and uh, we'll burn that shit for the for the joy of our of our um, lungs that would breathe that shit, you know, it was terrible. In fact, we used to to leave this shit in the bathroom, guys, because it was it would stink in all the house, you know. And yeah, so basically, we we had to cook our stuff in the bathroom, guys. Very shitty situation, guys. And remember, with poverty, guys, that they are creating right now, maybe this is your future. I'm just saying maybe this is your future because they need to stress the sheep so they can accept the the more control guys of course so basically at some point this is just a train station in uh, Duros where, which was the town where I lived where people just selling hot dogs here and what whatever they can find cigarettes and whatever I mean people were trying to it was very miserable situation guys very much poverty and everything you know but, but the craziness came in 96 97 where, where people just took the guns from of the state and it was even unsafe to stay around and here this guy is just a normal guy just trying to survive buying cigarettes at the lower price and selling it at the higher price you know just to make a buck or two and here the morons have written you know the, the sheeple have written Oh, uh, enough with communism. Communism was like Hitler, like Nazism. Oh, very bad. Not realizing that what was coming what was coming, uh, apart from the common 19, you know, that what was coming was pure communism, where uh, people, you know, were, weren't able to even sell this kind of shit, you know, that. You know, you know, buy this stuff for, for less and sell it for more, you know, just to survive, you know. After they couldn't because there was no money, you know, nobody would buy your stuff, people started to go away from Albania, I guess, leave their lands. And uh, what do you expect, you know? And this was a funny picture, I took it because this was funny, guys, in... in uh, in 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 the middle of you know of kinds of shit here like shoes and candies and whatnot you know there's also Jesus here guys Jesus they are sell they were selling this kind of Jesus you know but it's it's the new world order's Jesus of course and happy and cheerful and doesn't tell you anything bad you know doesn't bother you you know you're doing good it says to you. <laughs> Go, go like you're doing. It's it's going fine. Everything is fine. Tells you the Jesus of the New World Order, you know. So amongst biscuits and candies, here's Jesus for those that has uh, are a bit, you know, for for those few percent, just a little percent that was a bit more spiritual, you know. Where, where is? Please, can you go on? 
So this picture was just um, emotionally, uh, emotionally, how can I say, important for me, uh, because th this was a place of uh, of the town, which was uh, far away. It was like a countryside here almost, and on the other side there's a sea. It's beautiful because I passed some summers there where there was this relatives of ours, old people that had this uh, countryside house and it was very funny guys. I have beautiful memories of this place. That's why I took this, but there's no meaning here. Here's again the dumb sheep not realizing that uh, the printed uh, flags here are just of the New World Order because otherwise who? I mean, Albanians guys were, had no information, no nothing. And if you think that even the dumb sheep of today that we are swimming we are drowning in information, you know, and still are dumb, you know. They can be excused for being dumb, guys, and for falling for for the horns of the Baphomet here, guys. Thinking that, oh, here it is. Who? how conven convenient. We, we also got the flags already printed for us. It's so easy to change the system. Here it is. Here's the poverty, here's, here's the, uh, the equivalent of a pickup truck in Albania. No CO, uh, CO, <laughs> CO2s, like, you know, uh, Greta would not be angry of this kind, but uh, but uh, but uh, you would be a bit kind of angry because you would prefer a car, you know. But and here was the, the buses very f falling apart, you know, because nobody would work and uh, it was a miracle that they would still run, you know. And here we have some posters of selling us more uh, Europe and more democracy, yes, which is more New World Order. But again, yes. What the sheep all know? They were dumb yesterday and dumb today. The V yesterday and the V today, you know, of the V of the you know what, you know. The victory for them, victory for the sheep, guys. And with this guy, with his cool cars and his beautiful horse going somewhere with a hat like that, you know, maybe working for the state, and just, but just, I don't know, this picture is just beautiful, and maybe this is uh, the future for us, guys. The future might go like this, but remember, after a huge stress, there's always uh, more states, more serpents, and uh, prepare for what is coming. After the coming 19. Ciao, ciao.